Glue this up before Christmas. Uh, probably not the best way to do it, cutting it on the bandsaw, but it was a brand new bandsaw and I thought I'd have a go. There are some gaps in there, so I may well end up having to do a bit of filling. Um, but we're going to turn this down and see what happens with it. So let's, I've marked off centres, so let's get it loaded up and rounded off. Right, so I've got it mounted into the jaws now, and I can see I've got a lovely gap right through there. So it's going to have to come down a fair bit further. Um, also got a knot there, but I'm going to probably part off the top here, right in the middle of the knot, because then that way I can get a bit more scope to go up or down, and the base will probably then be somewhere around here. So. Um, just mark those off. And let's get that part off. Right, I'm just going to drill a depth hole now. Um, my forstner bits are rather blunt, so this seems to be the best option.
Right, so that's the main part of the hollowing done. There's a very, very slight ridge in there, um, part down, but I may well do something extra on this as yet anyway. So I'm going to concentrate on taking the outside down now to how far it's required um, to show these inserts properly. Um, and then I'll think about what else I'm doing. Hello everyone, welcome Paul here. I uh, hope you've all had a good Christmas and Happy New Year to you as this should now be my first video of the year, 2017. So the project today, little box of a Celtic knot, not overly impressed with it. Um, the starters could have sanded down the inside, no real lip. It's a really, really loose fitting lid. Um, just a little bit too loose. If it had been a little bit tighter, I'd have been 
quite happy with it. Uh, the other issues, because I did the whole thing on the bandsaw, uh, I literally just got that probably a week or two before Christmas, um, so I thought I'd have a go on that. Um, it was so much harder to cut out the, the angles um, and keep everything straight. And as you'll see there, on one side of it, it's there's quite a gap. On the other side, it meets the lines. Um, is it class of the true Celtic knot? Celtic, Celtic, however you pronounce it. Um, because it's only two-way, should it be four-way? I don't know. Um, look to hear, wait to hear on somebody's opinion for that one. Um, proportions as well, I think, had I took probably maybe centimetre off the top of the box as well as a centimetre off the bottom of the lid proportions wise it would have probably looked a bit better um, it's not an issue because I mean at the end of the day tubs, boxes, whatever you want to call it they will come in different shapes and sizes and there's no real true format as to any rules of really what it should be like um, that wood was basically that uh, I used that very, very early on when I first started turning, um, and somebody seemed to think it was apple. That is hardwood from a pallet I rescued from work, um, which is what I've done the inserts in. Haven't got a clue what it is, but it is really, really hard. Uh, so that's that. So Christmas, yes, I had a few good goodies. Uh, for goodies, several bowl blanks. Um, I mean, that's probably the smallest one, which is 64 mil by 127 mil Sapili. Um, and I've got a couple of larger ones there, which are beech and oak. So, as well as a few other spindles and stuff like that as well. So, looking forward to actually having a go with some proper dried wood ready to go on the lathe. Uh, that will be a later project. So, oh, oh, just after Christmas, came out in the workshop, had a couple of a few hours out here, did a few pieces, a uh, few jobs, and one of the things I was working on, um, actually, there have been three things I was trying to work on at the same time throughout the day. First was my new rotating spinning display uh, for putting the work on. Uh, my typical electronic side, I've got an Arduino board sat in a box here running a step and motor, a bit like my camera project I did for the GoPro a long time ago now and that's connected up to a PC power supply um, so it supplies 12 and 5 volts directly to the, to the unit uh, which is absolutely brilliant still got to tidy it up a bit um, but it does the job for what I want to for now also uh, hope you love the new camera views throughout the video uh, I also created these uh, which means my GoPro camera can sit on the end here and I can literally rotate it around wherever I like and I've just got thumb, some sc thumb screws I've made up uh, which I can then tighten it up as necessary and I'll put one there over the lathe uh, my other workbench which is that side and I've got a shorter one which is what the camera is currently on now I may well put a picture up in the video um, just so you can see or the slope of the camera mounted on but far 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 more fun was using this gorilla pod sat on my little tripod uh, or my larger tripod moving about the workshop and you're so restricted to where you can put the camera this was so much much better and the other good thing as well with the GoPro uh, which I started using as well you if you've got an iPad or a phone you can actually control the whole camera on your iPad so I can see live feed there now, what's going on the camera. I can start it, stop it, do everything, and I don't even know how to touch the camera. Uh, my next project, uh, that was the, one of the other things I've, I've been starting on. <coughs> and for this one, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to do a shout out for somebody. Just before Christmas, I started watching yet another YouTube channel, and I ploughed through every single one of their videos through Christmas. I think it was something about 100 videos and some of them are not that short some of them are half an hour long and the person I want to give a shout out to which you'll probably already subscribe to him and I will put a link down below is Keith Barrow brilliant sense of humour uh, especially when his wife Sheila comes in as well she, between the pair of them some real classical laughs um, so yeah 
if you're not subscribed, if you've not seen his channel, please look at the link below in the description and go and have a look. He's giving me several ideas straight away of what to do. The other thing he does an awful lot of as well, uh, which is what probably my next project is going to be based on, is he does a lot of segmented work. Um, there was one particular ch project, I think it was called Indian Carpet, he spent something like about three weeks doing the glue ups and cuts and everything. Not going to that extent, nowhere near. I mean my early stuff I used to just glue some um, flat boards together, build up a large blank and then, t and then do them that way. But I thought I'd have a little go at the segmenters work, so and because it's a, a practice, and I will do it as a project video, I'm just using pine, so there is one of the rings that I have glued up. Um, I'm only doing about five rings in all, so I've got some more being glued up at the moment, which I put together this morning, and then there's, I think, a couple more I've just got to put together. So sand them down and then glue all the rings together. So that will be the next project video so hopefully it will work out okay and hopefully you'll find it interesting and like i say a big big thank you to keith because he's the one who's told me really with the angles and the cutting and i've done everything on me on my chop, chop saw of how to do this so it's most appreciated keith thanks a lot so if this is your first time here please do subscribe as you can see, I do a lot of different things every time. That's a total first for me doing the, the Celtic Knot. For my existing subscribers, thank you very, very much. It really is most appreciated. I think as of today, which is New Year's Eve, uh, I think I've got something like 465 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, for me, who's just really still starting out, to have that many people subscribe is, is really, really most appreciated. Thank you very much. So I'd appreciate it if everybody hits the like button, hits the share button, and please do leave a comment below. I, I do try and answer every single comment as and when I can, uh, so I will get back to you, and please do let us know what you think of everything. So Happy New Year to everybody, and I will see you again on the next project video, hopefully. Thanks a lot. Bye.